Come on, let's give God's name praise. God bless you. God bless you too. To my brothers and sisters in Christ who are here with us. To my father. Amen. Bishop Clark and my sons in the ministry that are here travel from different places. I give God's name praise to them, to my beautiful wife. Thank God. Thank God for her. I want to talk to you tonight. Let me read something to you. And then we will move further. In the book of Psalms, 137, verse 3, starting for there, they did carry us away captive, required of us a song, and they that wasted us, required of us mirth, saying, sing us one of the Lord's songs of Zion. And we said, how shall we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? I'm going to talk to you from this subject, praising God in front of the enemy. You may be seated. Praising God. We talked last night about Elijah and Elijah and how Elijah displayed his humanity by going into a cave and coming out sitting up under the juniper tree and waiting on God to reveal himself to him. And God showed up, but he didn't show up like he wanted him to. Have you ever noticed that sometimes you're waiting for God to do something and he don't show up like you think he's going to show up? The Bible says the earthquake came. He wasn't in the earthquake. The wind, the fire, none of that. Still small voice. And he shows up. Sometimes he'll just put himself on display in ways and speak through people you never would have thought he would speak with. And tonight, I'm not going to be before you long, but I'm going to share some things with you because I think it's important that we realize that we're in a unique season. We're in a season where God is blessing us. It's, it's a winning season. But not only is it a winning season, he's going to try to destroy you so you won't have no joy in this season. You, you, you know, something really great happened that the enemy will come at you to make you not even realize or even want to be a part of the greatness that's going on. Your child can graduate from college and then something crazy will happen at home. And you'll be sitting there trying to figure out how you're going to handle both situations, the good and the bad, the happy and the sad. And we sometimes we get locked in between those types of situations. And, and here we have a situation where they were accustomed to praising God. Some people see you coming and they know that, that you're going to have some church tonight. Some people walk into church and you realize that, well, we, we're going to have church tonight. Sister so and so, she will, not, she will praise the Lord. There's some folks you can depend on their praise. Look at your neighbor and say, I'm going to praise him tonight. So he's been too good to me. I'm, I'm going to lift him up tonight. And sometimes some people can come to church. And you know when they come, that's what they're coming for. I remember going to church years ago. It was a friend of mine uh, by the name of Tyrone. Ty Tyrone would be on the parking lot telling folks, uh, I'm going to praise him tonight. 
Tell the pastor to be pra praising God on the parking lot before we got in the church. He'd be dancing, getting out the car. And he, he would make sure that uh, somebody praised God with him. When you saw Tyrone, you realized it was going to be on. It was going to be on that night no matter what. He was going to give God the glory in spite of what you was going through, what he was going through. He was going to magnify God. I wonder if there's any Tyrones in the building tonight. Yeah. Folk, folk, folk that know that they're going to praise God. And the enemy knows somehow or another that when you're going through something, he dare you to praise him. He dare you to magnify him. And oftentimes we get to the place where we don't feel up to it. We don't feel like it. And we try to resist against what the enemy is trying to purport on you, a false sense of joy. You got joy, but you don't feel like it. Jo jo joy is something that, 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 that erupts in your soul. It just sh it shows up. It matters not where you are. It will just show out. Joy will just show out. In your soul, you, you can be in the grocery store and think about how good God has been. Joy will just will just erupt out of your soul, and you can't help it. Sometimes you just you just got to praise Him. So sometimes I feel like that. Before I start preaching, I feel like just hollering because He's been good to me. <clears throat> sometimes I just want to give God a holler. I just be just going down the street, walking in my neighborhood, and I think about how great God has been to me, what he's done for me. I just want to open up my mouth and give God a holler all out there by myself, magnifying God. No matter what's around, who's around, what folk are doing, walking their dog, I just holler. I just, I just got to holler. Glory to God. God's been good to us. He's been good to us. Tell somebody if you don't mind. He's been good to me. In spite of myself, brought me from along with God. God has been good to me. They had captured them, they had taken them, Nebuchadnezzar, taken them from Jerusalem. They walked to Babylon. Chains, walking dusty, dirty, tired, hungry, fatigued. And they took them down by the river. The river. And they, they, they looked at them. And they said, y'all are known for praising God, huh? They looked at them. You know, sometimes they never do you like that. Something crazy happened. Your son get arrested. Something happened to somebody in your family. And the devil... Sometimes you have somebody sitting over in the corner just waiting to say, they won't say it to, to your face, but they'll be looking at you. Are you going to praise him now? Are you going to magnify him now? Last Sunday you shouted all over the church. Are you going to praise God now? And, and, and you know you, they're thinking that way, and you want to get up and just slap them upside the head, but you can't do that because we think that ain't Christian. I want to slap them, then I want to praise him. Because you know, you, you know you're going through something. And, and the thing about it is, God will hear your praise in spite of what you're going through. The captives, so they struggled with their identity. Because they were known for that. They were known for that. I saw this young man, and I love him. I don't know his name, but he comes in all the time when I preach. He sits right there, and he kneels, and he prays. And I watched him tonight. He came in and he fell on his knees. And then he sit in the chair. And I wondered, I said, folk know that's what he'll do. They know that. The devil know it too. They know that's what you But one thing that I've learned is this. When the devil tries to attack you, there's one thing that'll back him up is a praise at your belly. Sometimes, sometimes you just got to open your mouth and give God praise like, like you've gone crazy. Call me crazy. God has been good to us. Call, call me crazy. They was waiting on me to die and I got married. Call me crazy. <laughs> Run and tell that. 
telling everything else. Run and tell that. God has been wonderful. He's been wonderful to all of us. And tonight, somebody's going to give God a praise that's going to break some yokes. And go through some changes. This is your life. The scripture says that they said, uh, sing a song. Sing, sing, a, sing a song for us. You, you know, one, one, one of the songs of Zion. What, what you're known for. You're down here and going through all these changes and you march miles and miles. And while, while, while you're here by the river, sing us a song as if to order them. Sing it like you're happy. Can, can you open up your mouth and sing a song like you're happy? And they, they was like, well, how, how, how can we sing the Lord's song in a strange land? As much hell as we've been through, I, I, don't, I don't feel like praising him now. But when I think about that, the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, my soul, before my mind get the news, my soul cries out, hallelujah, thank you, Lord, for saving me. That, that, that's what happened in chapter 16 of Acts. Paul and Silas placed in jail. Midnight came. Head in shackles, feet and arms in shackles. And they start singing praises to God. That's what you got to do. Sing a song. Tell, 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 tell your neighbor, sing a song. You, you, years ago, and it can't be just any kind of song. It's got to be one of the songs of Zion. I, I first got saved. I, 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 I've been in church for years. But then I began to listen to the songs every Wednesday night. Because the way we used to do it years ago, you come to Bible class or, or prayer meeting. and Somebody would sit over here. And you weren't on program to sing. You weren't on program to pray. You just stood up and started praying. Or you stood up and started singing. All, all of a sudden, somebody will stand up and say, pass me not. O oh, gentle Savior, hear my humble cry. Why on others thou art calling? Do not pass me by. Savior, Savior, hear my humble cry. Why on others thou art calling? Do not pass me by. And they just sing and just praise God. And then somebody else will testify, give an honor to God, who's the head of my life. Bless me all day long. And then they sit back down and from the corner over there, somebody, somebody will say, there is a name I love to hear. I love to sing his words. Sounds like music. In my ear, sweetest name on earth. And one of the things that used to get to me a long time ago when I was growing up, my mama would sing around the house. And when she would sing around the house, she'd be washing clothes and folding clothes and, and hanging up clothes. And she'd be singing one of the songs of Zion. I can hear her singing now as she'd sing one of the songs of Zion. She'd be talking about how good God has been to her. Glory be to God. And that's why every once in a while, I don't know the whole song, but I start singing it like it's, like, like, like it's brought, brought me from a long way. Say, give me that old time religion. Give me that old time religion. Give me that time around the house. Give me that. Yes. And then she go in there, she start folding the clothes. She start folding the clothes. 
She'd wash them up real good, and she'd get another set, and she'd fold them up and put them in the washing machine. And then I hear her say, on the hill far away, stood an old rugged cross, the emblem, the emblem of suffering and shame. I love that old cross where the dearest and best for a world of lost sinners was slain. She would just, just be singing. Then she'd switch over when she got rid of the iron the sheets and stuff. And she'd take them down off the, off, off the hanger outside and the, the, the clothesline. And she said, thank you, Lord. I just want to say thank you, Lord. You've been so good to me. And then she put it in the, in, in, in the dryer. And, and she started working on other stuff around the house. Talking about uh, uh, on Jordan's stormy banks I stand. And cast a wishful eye to Canaan's fair and happy land where my possessions lie. I'm bound for the promised land. I don't know how y'all feel about it, too, but I'm bound for the promised land. I'm not doing all this just to be doing it. Too. I'm bound for the promised land. I'm going to make my way to the promised land. Oh, I'm going to make my way to the promised land. I'm not just coming to church just to be here. I'm coming here to give God's name the glory and make sure I make it to the promised land. Look at somebody and tell them I'm bound to the promised land. So will you come and go with me? I'm bound for the promised land. And then I'd hear somebody say, what a friend we have in Jesus, all our sins and griefs to bear. What a privilege it is to carry everything to God in prayer. What peace we often forfeit, what needless pain we bear. All because we do not carry everything to God in prayer. And then say, where could I go but to the Lord? All those things, you got to sing them when you're going through changes and you got to let the people know that's around you that you're getting ready to go somewhere. You're just not here by yourself. God is with you right now. Do you understand what I'm saying? He's here you, right now. He's with you. He's right, right, right here with you right now. Glory to God. Somebody ought to throw your hands up and give God's name a praise because he's with you right now. So, so they took them down took them down by the river and said, I know you're going through changes. Yeah, down there all by yourself. You think God has left you, but he hasn't left you. And the enemy will try to make you praise God in front of him to make fun of you as you're going through something. He'll try to make you do some changes. And you got to praise him and say, praise him. Pra pra praise him. Your mama in the hospital. Praise him now. Your dad, your dad has funerals next week. Praise him now. He's trying to make you praise him while you're going through hell. But don't worry about it. Everything's going to be all right. Because when you think about how good God's been to you, when you think about that God brought you from a mighty long way, you can't help but praise him. Look at somebody and say, I can't help but praise him. He's been too good to me. I can't help but lift up my hands. I can't help but give God's name the glory. He's been good to me. Somebody in here that knows God's been good to you, give God's name a praise. If God's been good to you, lift up your hands and throw your head back there. Give God a praise. He's a mighty God. He's an everlasting Father. Give his name praise. He's been with you for a long time. He's been with you right now. No matter what the devil trying to do to you, everything is going to be all right. Somebody said everything. 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 It's going to be all right. I came by here to tell somebody when the devil tried to approach you, when the devil tried to bring you down, give God a praise out your belly. When the devil tried to mess with your mind, give God's name a praise. You got to praise God in front of you. If the enemies think you ain't going to praise him, say, wait just a minute. I'm going to give God glory. I'm going to magnify God. I'm going to give God the praise. His name. His name. His name. His name. Yes. His name. All by itself. It's worthy. Somebody shout worthy. Somebody shout worthy. 
Somebody shout worthy. Somebody shout worthy. I don't know what you come to do, but I can't. In spite of what I'm going through, I'm going to praise you. Whatever the doctor said, I'm going to praise you. Whatever my bank account said, I'm going to praise you. Have my children are acting, I'm going to praise you. I'm going to lift them up. I came tonight to give God a praise out my belly. Somebody shout, yes, 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 yes. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. Look at your neighbor. <laughs> Say, neighbor, do you have a praise? Grab your neighbor by the hand. Say, my praise and your praise will back the devil up. I don't care what kind of demon it is. We gotta praise when there are two or three gathered together in his name. Somebody in the house, open up your mouth. The praise. Somebody throw your hands up. Throw your head back. Out your belly. Give God. It's right in front of your enemy. Right in front of your enemy. Right. Right in front of your enemy. Take that devil, take that devil, take, take that, take that, take that. Somebody throw your hands up and say, devil, take that, take that, take, take, take. take. You trying to ruin my life, but you can't stand my praise. Take that. He gave us a weapon. And praise is our weapon. Every time you say hallelujah. The devil backs up. Every time you say, thank you, Jesus, the devil backs up. Every time you say, glory, the devil backs up. Every time you say, glory, he backs up. Get your hands off my children. Glory, he backs, he backs, he backs, he backs. Somebody come get me. Somebody can do it. Somebody can do it. Somebody can. You ain't got no job. Praise him till the job comes. You sick. Praise him until you get well. Praise him until your healing comes. Your marriage is going crazy. 
praise him until everything works out. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. Give God the glory. How shall we sing the Lord's song? Oh, God, get me out of here. It's strange, man. Somebody give God the glory. He's been good to us. The next time the devil comes at you with some stuff, just a hallelujah. The next time the next time he comes at you with something crazy, just say glory. Next time they tell you to come to the, the hospital, Quickly, get in your car and start giving God praise on the way to the hospital. So God, I don't know what this is about, but I know we got the victory. I came over here from Washington, D.C. to tell you, you got the victory. You got it, you got it, you got it. You got the victory, whatever it is. God understands. God understands. He understands. He understands. He understands. Bless his name. Bishop Clark, God understands. He understands. He understands. Glory to God. I feel like hollering. I feel like running. He understands. I, I, I don't come to church because I ain't got nowhere else to go. I come because I love God. I ain't gotta, I ain't gotta wait till Friday to come. It could be Monday at three o'clock in the evening. I come because I love God. It, it, you notice, you've noticed that coming to church praising God is an awesome thing. He, he's given us that privilege to magnify him. And the enemy can't stand for you to praise God. He can't stand it. He can't stand it. When you learn how to glorify God in spite, regardless of what's happening, the enemy try to stop you. But you can praise him right there in front of the enemy. In front of him, right in front of his face. Right in front of his face. Take everything you want to take. Set, 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 set everything I got outside on the curb. Somebody go get me a truck, I'm going to put it in the truck. But I'm going to be talking about the glory to God because it won't be long. I'm going to get something better. I'm going to get something better. I've never, I've never seen the righteous forsaken. The seed, big and brave. So I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. I'm so thankful. Somebody just stand to your feet with me. I'm, I'm, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. Tonight. Because I think about how God has been good to me. How, how, how the enemy has tried kill me.
It, it, it took me a minute. I don't, don't know how to deal with folks. People were planning my funeral. They had they had the program written out, Bishop Clark. Who was going to preach? And it's hard for me now to be around some of those folks. The do doctor said, Jesus. Do doctor said, you got four months to live. I looked at him. I laughed. I said, I said that's not in your authority. That's, that's above your pay grade. <laughs> Caskets picked out. Plot picked out. And I had lost so much weight. I wasn't ready to die. I said, I, I, said, I don't know what this is, God. I said, but I don't feel death nowhere around me. I don't, I don't know what's what's going on, but I don't, I don't feel it. Because I know what death feel like. Some of you know what it feel like. I, I walked down the hall, my mother died, and I could feel death all in the house. I, I know what it feels like. I couldn't feel it. I lost weight. I was thin as a rail, and I just, I stopped going to church. And then all of a sudden, one Sunday morning, God said, get up. Put your clothes on. Find a suit that fit. Find something. Put it on. I put it on. And people didn't really recognize me because I lost so much weight. He said, let them see you now. Yeah. Let, let them see what you look like now. At your lowest peak. Let them see you, 160-some pounds. Let them see you. And I said, okay, God. I'll, I'll, let, I'll let them see me. I, I didn't recognize myself. I looked in the mirror. I didn't, even rec I didn't even know who it was. I lost weight so quickly. All of a sudden... The devil almost had me believing that it won't be long. Then something happened to me. Something changed. I started gaining my weight back. Because I started praising God in front of my enemies. Those that were preparing for me to die Every time they come to the church and I was preaching, I just stop preaching and go shouting. I'd be, I'd, I'd be talking and they'd be doing the announcements and they walk in the church. I, I just start shouting. I just start shouting. They'd be talking about the women's club, going to do so and so, and one of them walk through the church, I just break out and go to shout. I praise God in front of my enemy. And I came back here tonight to share with that with you. That when you it looks like things ain't gonna work out, just give God a good hallelujah. Just give him a good hallelujah. I want you to do something for me. Let's get something so we can give tonight. If you can give $30.
That's what the Lord told me to do throughout the week. And I'm going to do that. I don't know what that means. You know, some people can tell you to give something. And they'll tell you why you're going to give it. I don't know why it's $30. It's just $30. God bless you. Thank you, Lord. I feel I feel them all in this place. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Can you give me some praise and music? Give God one more praise. <laughs> Y'all doing real good, real good. I think we had a little more than this last night, didn't we? Yeah, but y'all look good to me. It's like a church full of folks. I appreciate it. There might be somebody not saved just in case you're here and you don't know Jesus. I don't want to close without giving you an opportunity to come to Christ. We have plenty of time to pray with you. If you're here tonight and you don't know Christ, this is your opportunity to come. Let's give God the praise for the preacher. A great word. Great. You have to, I think you have to have seen him. You know, just the very fact that if you had seen how sick he was, in a wheelchair, laying over, you have just seen it. All you have to do, just come tonight to see him praising God. And we could have all turned around and went back home. I'm telling you, oh, I'm out. God is a good God, saints. I don't care what the devil's doing, God is a good God. Ah, ho, ho, time out. My God, he's a good God. My God, my God, my God. Yes, indeed. Oh, here, yeah. let us stand. Hey, my God. My God. Hey, hey. Come oh, on. My God. See you on tomorrow night. Up lifted hands. Lord, help me to have one mind and let that be the mind of Christ. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Love you.